everyone, uh, Erin here, and in our video for Maker Monday, we're going to go through how to create a 3D puzzle. So your 3D puzzle um, comes pretty self-contained, like this, and you want to punch out all of the pieces. Uh, you can actually color it when it's a whole grid, but you might want to punch them out so that you don't waste your time coloring um, all of the side bits. And then, uh, once you've done that, depending on the uh, puzzle, you might have a few pieces or you might have several. So I have all of mine here, and you can color as little or as much as you want. And so I've gone for a little bit of um, coloring and then leaving some of the white and black pattern. You also want uh, your assembly instruction. This is really important, don't throw this away. This is gonna tell you how to uh, build your model, whatever you have. I also, just for fun, I assembled this butterfly and I couldn't believe how giant it is, but I decided I wanted to keep it white and black, which you can do also. It's, it's a lot harder to color your puzzle once it's assembled, so that's why I recommend coloring it when it's flat pieces like this. All right, so in the diagram itself, they're gonna label the different parts. So each part has a different number and it will tell you where those parts go in. So uh, for my tower that I have, I need to put piece 11 into piece one. So I'm going to look for piece 11, which looks like um, possibly this piece right here, shape-wise, and then one. This is one and it wants me to fold it into pieces. So I'm looking at the first instruction right there. So I'm going to fold it. So you want to be a little gentle while you're doing this because it's foam board, it should hold together pretty well, but it's also um, really easy to like over, um, use too much pressure and over uh, bend it. Okay, so we put our number 11 onto our tower and then below that it says we want to put on number 2 and 6. So that's going to be at the bottom of our base. So I'm going to put two and six together and then I'm going to put the tower on top of it. So it looks like two is the part uh, here and you will probably have pieces like this where you need to actually poke a hole to so that slots can fit into it. So there's a little hole now. Um, Good to do this once you've uh, dislodged all of your pieces. Okay, so this is gonna be our base, and then this is piece six, and then we need our piece two, which is right here. So this goes into here. I think this is the harder part, is putting the slots in correctly. And you want to be firm, but again, not too firm. Because it's foam board, it has some, some give, but you don't want to press too hard and make extra holes or rip pieces. Okay, so we have our base now. I think that looks awesome. And we're going to put our tower onto our base. awesome. It's looking pretty good. All right, so our next piece is we need 10, 3, 9, and 8. So our second direction is this. It looks like the top. We're building the top. That's going to sit on top of our tower here. So it looks like 10 is this piece here. It's elongated piece. Um, 9 is this piece that folds. Or no, I'm sorry, this is 3. 
Um, this is nine. And then we're gonna need eight, which is, I believe this one here, yeah. All right, first things first, we need to put 10 into nine. And you might get some connections like this, where uh, basically what you have to do is insert them into each other like that, and then just uh, push until it sits flush. So just like that. Okay. And then we are building this around it. Oh, this has some pieces that need to be removed too. Which I'm sure are the pieces that the spire go into. So I'll show that in a close up. Okay, so now I have these little holes here, which I'm pretty sure these little edges on the spire will go into. So let me try to put that together. Now this one's hard because these are like these little knobs seem to be pretty delicate. I'm gonna start on the end. I think that makes the most sense. And with pieces like this that need to be folded around, it's good to just kind of wiggle them and get them used to the motion that they're gonna be in. Just so it's easier to connect them. Okay, so I got two sides in. See if I can get the third side in. Um, if you do have pieces that are difficult, these puzzles should sit together without glue. But if you are not planning on unassembling it and reassembling it, then you can use a little glue to put them together if you want. Okay, so I have that little piece of the tower all done. So then we need our piece eight, which we had from earlier, and we're gonna stick this into piece eight right here. We have the slots, we have the little knobs that are gonna go in. I actually really love um, building things and making things. So I was really excited about having this as our Maker Monday. Um, even if I get really frustrated, like if I have something complicated, um, I just feel so awesome about completing it that it was like totally worth the frustration when I was doing it myself. Okay, so we have a couple pieces left. Uh, looks like we have, um, this is piece four, we have seven, we have five. I'm not really sure what this extra piece is for. I guess we'll have to see if we use this or not. So we need piece four, which is this one right here. And this is gonna, let me see. Yep, we need to take out um, some more little notches. So some of the time, if you're like, how does this go together? <laughs> Make sure you're not missing notches that can uh, put the pieces together. Okay, so now we have the holes for those four notches and we're going to put them around into these notches here. All right, perfect. Ah, I see. 
So, um, also I'm just getting this last one in. Um, but I also noticed there are notches at the top and those are gonna go into the little holes um, right here. On. So those are all gonna kind of fold downward and fit right in. Okay. If it is being difficult, you also can get some tweezers and just kind of lightly pull the piece through. Okay, so that's good. All right, we have that piece of our tower. Um, you can put this little in our uh, notches in the holes there. And then I wanna see what's going on next. Oh, okay, this goes in here. I think my top is coming out. I'll have to fix that in a minute. Um, but I do wanna see, oh, I see. So this last piece is what um, holds the top and the bottom of the tower together. So there should be um, a bunch of notches in this, uh, one on each side. So what's gonna happen is, um, the bottom row is gonna sit with these notches and the top row is gonna sit with these notches at the bottom. So, I'm just going to make holes really quick. And there's eight of them. So I have to pull out eight scraps. Okay, now I have my, my board ready to go. All right, you're not getting a very good view. Uh, it's just a bunch of um, folding and pushing and in, inserting into the tab, so. Yay, okay, nice. I got a nicely little it's on the top of the tower. So I'm going to On my left side. You could kind of hide, you could hide like something in here, right? This is awesome because it has a secret compartment. fix the top it looks like it uh, came up loose again but very cool 